European Council. And this happens a bit earlier than initially planned, unfortunately, because two years ago, the people of UK have decided to vote to leave the Union. So is this important, a bad omen for the Union? So though this is a cheerful location, I still want to add some serious thoughts about it. Because as we can observe, nationalism is increasing nearly everywhere in Europe. And it's worth taking a look back into history and see where nationalism leads to or might lead to. The 30s of the last century, so not directly comparable with our times now, but they should be a warning signal for us. Especially now, 2018, which is a special commemorative year with several anniversaries that have been uh, anniversaries of events that have been crucial for the whole Europe. Just taking out two of them, it's 1918, it's the end of the First World War, and for Austria especially, it was the birth year of the First Republic, or 1938, the year of the annexation of Austria to Germany. And it is important, as I said, to look back and to be aware of history and maybe to take some lessons out of history. But it is equally important to keep the eyes open and look around what's currently happening and going on. How far did we already move on the way backwards, on the way back towards division, exclusion, the creation of enemy concepts? scapegoats. And this move backwards is going on in small, small little steps. We don't really realize. They are too small that you really get revolution against it. But each of these steps is further expanding the borders of what still is acceptable. Never again, never again has been heard repeatedly at various occasions. But how serious are we really about that? Still, what we are hearing, it's mainly harsh words. But as we can learn from history, to see how words prepare the way and how fast actions follow these words if they are not stopped in time. The European Union, a united Europe, was a grandiose, a visionary idea that was born out of the horrible experiences of the last century. It has facilitated for all of us peace, freedom, democracy. But liberal democracy in an open Europe is seriously threatened nowadays by illiberal forces that come to power in many of our countries. Europe is a wonderful place to be, and we are very privileged that we are able to live in here, and we should be aware of it. If we want it to stay like it is now, we have to raise our voices against nationalism, against illiberalism. Because if we remain silent nowadays, it makes us complicit if this wonderful project fails. And to prevent such a failure, it's the responsibility of all of us who believe in a common, successful future, and who came here together to celebrate a tradition of shared, rotatory responsibility in a common Europe. Well, back to the nice part. Correspondent to this tradition, here in GRC, we take the opportunity of the alternating uh, presidency for sharing the culture of the respective presiding country with the people living and working here. In this spirit, the Austrian organizing team has prepared a diverse and hopefully entertaining and interesting for you program for the second half of this year, in which we refer to historical events, to contemporary Austria, but also to future trends. So please look in a program that is distributed here, but also 
check our beautiful website, which will be continuously updated. And there is still more to come, which I can promise, uh, than indicated now in the current hard copy. We also chose a symbol, which um, is standing in a roundabout behind this entrance. And also this we chose because it, in our mind, reflects our country in various aspects. It is a symbol for Austrian landscapes, including their touristic aspects, but also as some symbol for successful Austrian businesses and for the country's innovative, future-directed ideas. Special thanks to the company Doppelmayr, who has provided this symbol. And at this point, we also want to thank all our sponsors, which are individually listed on our website and we prepared also a paper, a poster where they all listed. We also thank the being present of the General Consul Dr. Spadinger and the Director of the Austrian Cultural Forum in Milan, Dr. Jäger, for their support. But our thanks also goes especially to the Comune and Proloco of Cadrezzate because they have heavily supported us for the consent, concert today in the evening. The Gewürztraminer, whom you had already the pleasure to listening, and there is still more to come, are giving a concert with their irresistible and integrative music with elements from gypsies, jazz, Balkan folk, and Austropop. It's tonight at Cadrezzate at 8.30 in the evening, and you all cordially invited to join us for this concert. And finally, do you all know what Kaiserschmarrn is? <laughs> if you know, you will be looking forward to it. If not, you have to try it. Because this and more Austrian specialities, uh, you can taste at the end of the ceremony. And they have been prepared by a famous cook, Markus Mutschlechner. And if you want to try more of his uh, cul uh, culinary skills, you can do so in one of his restaurants in Milan. And also note that we are aware of sustainability. It's also an awesome feature and we don't use plastic dishes. So it's up to the end. I all wish you a wonderful summer and maybe take the chance to show us Austria with your eyes by taking part in the photo competition. You can submit your photo until the end of September and more details you can find on our website. So see you all of you, hopefully many of you at many of our events. Thank you.